Hey, how you doing? Um, sorry I haven't made many videos. They're kind of few and far between, but I'm pretty much not that much a video person. I'm trying to get a little more in the habit since I see there are people out there interested in seeing what I've, what I've learned uh, living off grid. Uh, one of my latest additions is adding a wood stove. Uh, until now, I've just been uh, relying on uh, two heat pumps. And, uh, well, let me show you the stove and then we'll just get into a little bit more of the why. But here, here's the stove. I mean, it's pretty typical lo looking. You've probably seen things like like that before. But uh, this is a small stove. It's I think it holds logs up to 17 inches long. Uh, it's it's designed to handle up to 1,200 square feet. Uh, my cabin's 864 square feet, you know, indoors, not counting the porches and stuff. But uh, that ought to be plenty big enough, and uh, ba basically it's big enough to, to drive me out of the living room if I really get it going hot. But I've taken a couple of clips of video. The first one is, is going to be, I'm going to take a sample of it, but... It's kind of a crappy video. It's my first fire, and I was real proud that it actually burned, although I kind of cheated and uh, used, a, uh, used some lighter fluid to help get it going. But I'll show you that, and then we'll t take a look at a better video when I knew what I was doing a little bit better. Take a look, and I hope you like it. Okay, here we go. There's the pipe going straight from the top of the stove out to the ceiling. I like that there's no bends. And the fire's burning great. That's because it's pine and I started it with lighter fluid, but it burned out pretty quick. But in just a minute, I'll share a better video. Okay, I'm going to finally finish up this fireplace video. I'm sorry, I've been slow about putting it together. Uh, I was out actually out earlier cutting up more firewood, but uh, let's check out the uh, second video. It's still got the Blair Witch Project bouncing around stuff going on some. I hope it's not too bad, but let's take a look at it. Okay, this fire, I didn't use any light or fluid or anything. I think I used like some paper towels and uh, let me show you around the room here a little bit the place is really starting to come together but uh, the fireplace fits in good uh, I think I pointed out earlier that that the fireplace uh, the stove pipe comes out of the top of the stove and goes straight up through the roof uh, I got lucky doing that I I didn't even think that much about it, but it'll really help the creosote. Look at that fire. It's just intense. Uh, I, I built a fire. I think, think I, like I said, I used paper towels, uh, some toilet paper rolls, and uh, uh, dr drink carton thing, and just some odds and ends to get it started. It's been going for a for a while at this point and the, the whole internal area of the stove was pretty much flamed up it was actually making me think it's it's really burning too hot so I'll uh, slow it down here in a minute which you're going to get an awkward little uh, shift to the side here from, from some poor video quality I'm sorry about that but the important thing about installing this wood stove uh, right now, I don't ha have any need for it because uh, it's got to be like 80 degrees outside right now. But uh, when I took this, it, it was good to uh, warm the house up. 
Not only that, but it takes the load off my batteries and running the heat pumps. And the best part of all, I got 43 acres of land here, wood all over the place. And granted, there's the pipe you can see going up. And this is the awkward cut to the side, very unprofessional. Yes, but oh well, I'll try to in, improve on my video taking, but hopefully we'll settle back down here in just a second. But uh, it, it cuts down on my battery usage during the winter, which ought to really help since winter's like the the uh, shortest days of the year. The the only time in the year I've really had very much trouble. Uh, the worst part was this last year around around the the winter solstice is uh, I think it was like December 21st, 22nd, something like that. Uh, we we got basically nearly two weeks of clouds at the shortest time of the year, and I ended up burning probably you know. Uh, around I guess six cans of propane right and that's money it's like 20 bucks a pop that's hundred twenty dollars so I figured get this burn up some of the dead wood around the house which yeah a lot of its pine but I don't care I'll burn the pine I'll have the fireplace cleaned out it clears up the yard and more importantly like I say it cuts down on the load I'm putting on my batteries that's important because batteries cost a lot of money. So anything you can do to, to cut down your use of the batteries is a good thing. So that was the whole entire thinking about getting this fireplace. So far, it's worked beautifully. Uh, this uh, fire that you just just seen is pro is by far the best one I had is like my next to the last one on one of the last few days that it was cold enough to build a fire and I think I kept it going for like six hours and it wasn't bad at all so I'll probably update y'all next winter when I get a chance to to do this again but yeah I think this is going to be really be a godsend in terms of not having to buy propane and run a generator uh, because I mean, I can last over a week basically on batteries if I'm not running the uh, high usage stuff and uh, the the heat, heating and air conditioning or the high usage stuff. So, well, that's it for this video. Sorry it took me so terribly long to get this uh, put together, but I do a lot of the little things around here and it just takes me a while to get around to videos. I'm, I know a lot of people are like really into videos and crank them out, some people, almost every day. Well, uh, I'm just not a video person yet. I'm playing around with it, but I hope you like it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.